All right, let's talk email. For the purposes of beginning an email, what you're going to want to do is come to the Compose button in the top left corner. Once we click this button, it'll bring up a new window with our new message. We can compose a message here, and I'm going to compose a message. The subject will be Gmail, not Gnail. And then we can do the content of our email. I am finishing up the Gmail videos. And I wanted to let them know that. Now I can press send. But before I do, down in, I'm going to bring this up, down in the bottom corner, we've got a more options button. If we click on this more options button, we can check our spelling, print it, um, but the the biggest reason we would do this is request a read receipt. If we request a read receipt, we know that our recipients have read the email. This can be very helpful when sending emails to parents, um, when sending emails to students, and um, <clears throat> Anybody else really that uh, you worry sometimes if they get those emails uh, or if you're needing to document uh, communication, it's really helpful. So I've requested a read receipt and as soon as Anne or Yolanda have read this, I will get a notification saying such. I'm going to go ahead and click send here and that is <clears throat> on its way. Um, so then I've got... Uh, an email here from um, one of our teachers and she's asking me about a curriculum. Now I can go and hit reply and it will reply automatically. I want to discard that draft. If I come here um, I've got a few more options but I'm going to go ahead and reply that um, my I'm going to go ahead and say that my daughter has been in this curriculum today, but I will check it out. And then hit send, and that email is on its way. Now, sometimes whenever you um, get an email with more than one recipient, and um, let me see here. This one does. It's to me and another uh, person. And I have read this, but um, she wants us to think about uh, the map tests and the scores on here. And I had already read this, but I came up here and marked it as unread because I wasn't ready to answer that question yet. I had some um, research that I wanted to do on that. Um, and if I hit refresh here, it will pop back up in my email load and there it is again um, and then if there is an email that uh, like I said has been uh, sent to more than one person if I reply I've got a few options and you can see them down here reply reply all or forward if I need to forward this on to get uh, permission or um, to get my boss to approve it and in most cases to get a principal to approve it, I would forward it. I can reply all and that will reply to each person that has been tagged in this email or I can reply to Terry um, specifically. And uh, like I said, I am going to go ahead and mark this as unread and I'll get back to that soon. Uh, that is email in a nutshell. Thanks.